Welcome back everybody to my 1.18 hardcore series. This is episode 2. We all know that 1.18 added some amazing caves and cliffs, but I'm going to be focusing on the caves for this episode. I want to dedicate an entire build to a mine shaft, so that's what we're going to be working on. Obviously, I can't show you the build right now, but this thing is super epic. And if you do stay tuned for the whole time, consider liking the video and subscribing. Helps me out a ton, and I'll see you guys in the video. Alrighty, we are back in 1.18, and we have some things to do today. First off, look at the house. Still looking beautiful as ever. But I think it's a little lonely on this cliffside. I think we need to add another building or, well, hopefully a few. All right, so we have this flat area down here, right? And uh, I want to terraform everything that's on this side of the river today because this area right here, I want to turn into a mine. And uh, I have an idea for it, but this entire section needs to be terraformed. So basically today we're going to be doing a lot of terraforming and then a really, really awesome mine. And to do that, we're going to need a lot of blocks. We're probably going to have to enchant some things eventually. And uh, yeah, probably a lot of tools. However, when it comes to enchanting, we uh, we don't have a lot of sugarcane. And our, our, where is it? There we, no, where, hmm, I organized everything, I swear. Yeah, and our leather, not great. We do have the cows, but we don't have enough sugar cane, so we can't even do that yet. But what we can do is we can take a diamond, we can take a couple sticks here, and we can craft, we don't have a crafting table up, hmm, okay, that's gonna have to be fixed. Craft ourselves a diamond shovel, which will definitely outmatch our iron one for sure, and hopefully get us enough dirt to do all of this terraforming. Now that we're on the other side of the river, I'm looking at this and this is gonna be a lot of work, okay? First off, I wanna terraform it so that it curves a lot better than, how, how is it like so cubey? How is this, how is this so cube? Okay, I'm asking that and I know it's Minecraft, but still. Maybe for today's episode, we build the mine and we terraform this area here instead of all of this because we haven't even gotten over there yet and I think it's better to stick to where we are. And this is the mother of first things first. So let's gather a ton of dirt and hope that we're gonna have enough for this project. Well, that broke, so uh, I think we have enough dirt, and honestly, I kind of feel like we did this train some justice, okay? This area was not looking hot beforehand, and now it's, mm, it's dirt, but mm, that still looks better. All right, so I kind of want to start here because I have a feeling I'm going to do something else with this area later, and I just, uh, hmm, I want to cover this up because I don't like it that much, and ooh, you're going to get covered up, bud, but I just want to make this area look a little bit, you know, more natural which is funny because i'm trying to make minecraft look natural even though currently it looks natural yeah i know it's like the hmm, okay i'm just trying to make it look better okay that's all i'm trying to do make it look a little bit better and i believe i can do that if you know i successfully pull this off i've never terraformed anything correctly in my life so this is uh this is definitely a first for me i don't know i'm already not loving it so that's Hmm, that's good. Okay, so I've made myself an outline here of what I kind of want it to be. And I realized that I, I went that way too. And I probably shouldn't have because I want to stick with this area today. And hopefully for the foreseeable future, this area will be done. But for now, I want to stick over here. Look, bud, I, I thoroughly apologize. Now that we're back up here, I want to make this entire area flat. Not because, like, that's how I think when I'm like, I gotta build something, so it's gonna be flat. No, I'm gonna probably terraform it even more, but for the cliffs, I want it all to be covered up so I know exactly how much work I really have to be doing. I honestly wanna do some sort of like overhang with this grass, and I'm not sure if I want it to go out and then overhang, or if that would be too much. Do I want it to do it like some areas? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so my plan failed. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But I made it two, two down, I guess. I I guess that's what I'm, I, I was planning. I don't know, I have no clue. But we're gonna have to clear out some of this mountainside here if I wanna actually pull this off. And I believe 
Ah, uh, I don't know what to do, but I want to bring some of it down a little bit here and there so that it's a bit staggered because otherwise it's going to look extremely man-made. So we're just going to hang some of it down a little bit here and there so that it's uh, it's like covering the stone a little bit, hopefully, once I get stone. Yeah, I think this stone will do. All right, well, I believe this is going to be our, our stone collection area and... Uh, you will not look the same after this, bud. Okay, to be fair, I thought it would look a little bit more indented but when you think about it it was like this and then like that so yeah i kind of did a number on that place but now i have a ton of stone and i keep breaking pickaxes like i have an excess of them i don't know what i'm doing but i guess it's time to turn most of this into stone so that'll be a very long and great process of waiting okay so i have a few stacks of stone ready and of course there's already a creeper down here good thing i brought some torches and now that that's dealt with, we just add in our stone and hopefully a cliff pattern. We'll see how this turns out. Okay, new plan. I'm going to make the stone and the dirt drip down and then it's going to go into a straight on, on stone wall because I don't really want to make it like curve out like an indent. So honestly, I think it looks pretty good already over here at least. Um, I still got a lot of work to do and I'm sinking. All right, new update. Um, I think this is looking really nice. Okay, I'm not, I mean, I am no terraforming genius or anything like that, but this is looking pretty nice. Obviously, I still have some areas to fill out with stone, but I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking this is kind of good. I'm thinking this is kind of good. Once I get some stairs, slabs, uh, andesite, cobblestone, all that kind of detailing stuff in here, it'll look even better. And I have so much more to go, but I think once I get around here, we'll be good for the day. Alrighty, consider yourself semi-blended. But honestly, look at this. This is this is pretty nice. I won't even like I'm not I'm not a builder. I'm not I'm I'm learning, okay? This is this is nothing of this is nothing of great, okay? Greatness here. But this is this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. And I think this just kind of tops it off. This is such a I really like this. Okay, so we're gonna add some slabs stairs and then eventually i'm assuming we're gonna do some andesite and cobblestone but for now i kind of want to leave it because i'm really itching to build this um this cave entrance and i believe this area right here is where we're gonna build so let's take away some of these trees here and get ourselves a landscape going and then maybe grab some dirt and just add a little bit more variation to the ground here because this is just not okay all right i believe this is a little bit better because we've we've raised this up one and I, th I think I kind of blended that in a little bit okay over there. Maybe. Uh, I can't tell. Maybe one more here. And that's, you know what? It'll, it'll do. It'll do. But now this is definitely big enough for me to build on and create exactly what I want to create right over here. This is going to look awesome. First, however, we got to sleep. And then we got to go back to material gathering. Oh, no. First up, spruce. Okay, really? I thought that would work. Second, granite. And last but not least, a ton of copper. All right, now that we have all the materials, I say we get to building. So for this build, I wanted to do something completely different. Try and make it a little bit more steampunky. So I was using granite, copper, deep slate, dark oak, everything I could really think of for this build. I made the entrance a little bit of an extrusion. I made a little bit of a house on the side, which I mean, I kind of want to do for almost every build because it just ties in with the village concept that I'm working on. Then whenever I moved over to the copper tower, I wanted to use dark oak on the side because I've already been using that with towers and I think it looks a little bit better when it comes to this color scheme because I'm already using it down below. And of course I use spruce accents on it because I mean, it's spruce. You have to incorporate spruce in every build at this point. Then I wanted to do something a little bit with the copper tower because I mean, to be honest, it didn't look great. So I used cut copper stairs to 
kind of add like a little bit of an outline around it and I thought it was really bad until I added these stone brick walls. For some reason, it just tied it in. I don't know why. Then I did a failed attempt on the top of the granite box with some dark oak, but I later fixed it with granite and spruce, which somehow made it look even better. All right, now that we have the building of our mine finish, I think we have one more special thing to do. And that is add a crane to the side. And of course we have the interior and the mine part, but I'm more excited about the crane. To start off the build, I had to add in a dock so I could at least house the crane there. Then I continued with the stone foundation and then used a lot of different spruce woods, barrels, oak trap doors, grindstones, chains, all of this just to make the crane. Basically, I wanted to make a little bit of a story behind the crane, and I'm sure as I develop this world, I will add a lot more to this area. Obviously, there's stone holding up the back, and there's this little trolley on the end so that you can pull stuff up. I don't know exactly what this is used for yet, but I'm sure we'll come up with the lore later. And I definitely have to say, this is probably my favorite build of the world, just because of the little minuscule details that I've added. Okay, I think this build turned out a lot better than I planned. I mean, look at this. We have a crane for our our mine, and I don't know if I love where this is currently located. I might want it one lower, but for now, it's at least on equal height here, so like it kind of looks like it's being brought over. I, I don't know yet, but anyway, this looks really cool. All right, last but not least, we have to tackle this inside because currently, it is just a, it's just a storage area at this point. I mean, I could just put chests in here, but this is not it. We're doing a mine. So yeah, we're gonna have to make a mine in here. All right, this is kind of what I envisioned for the storage room. Just simple barrels on the floor. We've got a few chests in here. Like, I don't think I'll be using this much, so it's more or less decoration, but I still wanted to get it done just in case I did end up like storing cobblestone or something in here. So something I really want to add in at a later date is some sort of like really big blast furnace thing where I just have to put something in a chest and we're good. I wanted to kind of put it here, but now that I'm seeing the area that I have to work with, I kind of want to just make this the mine. You know what, now that I think about it, when I was showing off this world to one of my friends, I did get this pickaxe, okay? And I haven't showed you guys yet, so um, yeah, I've got that. That's why my levels are a little low, because I, I tried again. Luckily, I got this, so you know what? I'm okay with that because I'm about to mine forever and I definitely needed efficiency. Okay, so we finally made it to our first stop on the list and of course it showed up for us, copper. This is gonna be our first area that we're gonna be stopping this, uh, this train here and uh, hopefully we can do this correctly. All right, so um, I guess I was gonna come out to here and then I'm, I'm uh, I don't know. Um, uh, how we stop on this level is probably just gonna be me getting off or like, I do a boom, boom. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now we are down to Y16, and I believe this is the best or one of the best spots for iron. I think at like the lower levels, this is the best spot because I believe there's one like super high up that I just I don't really want to mess with. So we're just gonna stick down here. And again, don't exactly know how I'm gonna stop it, but uh, yeah, now we go down more. Okay, that's not what I was expecting to find while I was down here. I'm truly not looking for diamonds. I mean, I'm okay with it because I need it. Oh man. Oh, but I have my fortune pick and I got, oh, I got 10 out of that. That's nice. I'm so glad because I'm out of diamonds. So that's, that is a very welcome surprise. Well, I found the correct level for diamonds. Um, just surrounded by a bit of lava. Yeah. So the, the mine is done. It's, um, it's going to need the rails all the way down. And I'm, I don't know exactly where this is located, but I would love to put down a very interesting tunnel system all the way back up to the base where I can throw items and they go into like hoppers into a chest up there. Now, I believe the last thing before I detail this, which I really don't want to do right now, um, is adding something to our actual build. Now, the idea with this up here is honestly, I just wanted something that would look a little bit different in this build. And I think this does, and it would have like a dispenser here with mine carts. So I could just like flick a lever here and then get in and then it'll ride me down. I don't know exactly how that makes sense, but uh, mm, it'll work eventually. I'm sure it will. As well as it gives me a really nice area up here to do with what I want. So like I could actually maybe put some more storage up here, something like that. I, I don't exactly know. But now I can get up here and use this area as I please. Maybe we make this a, a staircase as well. All right, so one very, very long journey down below and then back up and below and back up 
determined that the idea that I wanted to do with this building specifically is not going to be happening. Originally, what I wanted was a pipe from all the way down below going all the way up that would feed into the building like from over here or from already inside the building into a hopper system that would put it in a chest up here and then maybe even store it in like multiple chests like this stuff up here. But that idea has to be scrapped for the build due to the fact that I have this mine going all the way down. This thing was a twisty windy path and unfortunately it's looking like it's going to stay that way for now at least and I don't have the resources to move it. Heck, I don't even have the resources to finish it. Like I don't even have powered rails in this thing yet. So I'm going to put this building on hold for now, but overall I think it was a success. I mean look at this thing. It's pretty cool. We got to add some lights on the outside though because this uh, this is getting a little scary. Okay, a little bit of a lighting trip later and I think this place looks better. As well as I need to add a little bit of light over here just so that it makes it hopefully a little less mob spawnable proof. Uh, what is the wording for that? Anyway, overall, I believe this build turned out exactly how I wanted and it's in a really nice location compared to my house. I believe next episode, I'm going to have to work on a lot, a lot, a lot of decorating, especially path work. But maybe in between all of that stuff, we can find a spot for these cows because these guys have been here for a little while. But that's it for this episode. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As I may have said before in the video, not sure what I cut out. I did just hit 5k, so that is absolutely amazing. And I hit it by Christmas morning, which was a really great gift. So thank you all so, so very much for that. If you haven't, go check out my Discord. I do a lot of, uh, well, mm, I do, hmm. Apparently we're counting from A to Z. I don't know why, but um, yeah, it's fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.